close sports bulls. USA Today Sports Lindsay Schnell, Dan Woken and Scott Gleason look ahead to Thursday's four Sweet 16 matchups. USA Today Sports Cincinnati Bearcats guard Jaron Cumberland, left, and guard Kane Broom, 15, react after losing to the Nevada Wolf Pack in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Photo, Jim Brown, USA Today Sports. There's no crying in baseball, or so the movie goes. But for some TV viewers, they don't want to see crying in basketball, either, specifically crying children. After the NCAA tournament's opening weekend, some people were not too happy with part of the coverage provided by CBS and Turner Sports. The first rounds of games which saw the field whittled from 68 teams to 16 featured shocking upsets, huge comebacks and last-second shots that created a buzz on social media. While viewers were treated to celebration, jubilation and elation, Coverage also featured what have become customary shots of defeat, disappointment and yes, crying. In an interview with Yahoo Sports, CBS executive producer Harold Bryant defended the coverage. It's part of the drama and the storytelling of the tournament. He said, it's part of the emotion. We try to capture the emotion and we try to strike that right balance. Some fans have described the shots on social media as lazy cheap and exploitative. Seriously, NCAA tourney camera operators. Stop with the crying kids in the stands. It's completely unfair to them. At CBS Sports at TNT at True TV at TBS Network Lauren Kana. At Lauren Kana, March 19, 2018. The crying kids shot obsession that TV producers apparently have needs to go away Ryan Ginn. At Erm Ginn, March 18. 2018. Another thing about the crying kid shots, they're the cheapest way to convey drama. Kids cry after their teams lose all the time. There's nothing especially notable about that. Beyond anything else, it's just lazy. Sports Media Watch. At Palson underscore SMW. March 19, 2018. Bryant, who was speaking for CBS and Turner who share broadcast rights for the tournament countered that a wide array of emotions are captured. We show happy kids. We show sad kids. We show happy adults. We show players that are happy. We show players that are sad. Crying on the benches or on the floor. We do our best. Throughout all of these games. Throughout the tournament. To strike that proper balance. One issue some people have with the coverage is age. Kids are well, kids. They are vulnerable and seeing them cry when they lose isn't all that informative or new. It is different to show an athlete, a coach, even a member of a pep band. Like Villanova's crying piccolo player, who became a meme in 2015. In 2017, video of the crying son of Northwestern Athletic Director Jim Phillips went viral. This year, Young fans from Arizona State, Tennessee and Cincinnati among others have been featured prominently. Another issue is some viewers believe the networks are treating the tournament differently from other sporting events. How many cutaways to crying children are shown during an NFL game? An NBA game. When Bryant was asked if social media played into the network's choice, he replied, We can't control what people are doing on the internet. We've got to strike a balance. We've got to be journalistic and cover the story. March sadness. Agony of defeat.